welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts campaign. We are here in a night mission against a uh, sectoid replacement, uh, trying to find out if this found UFO will have a decent amount of uh, resources for us. We open fire at the first enemy we see, opening the way for the car to leave, check the sights, and finish its turn happily. Uh, Sangnif, you tell me about night missions as if I, as if I am expected to not do them. Uh, is is this the the correct procedure? Should I just wait until it's daytime everywhere? Because uh, I I understand that much harder, but I think I should still be able to take on them, take them on. We move Gika to a point where we can hide. We don't want to shoot. Yes, we don't want to shoot. So we hide, we crouch. We don't crouch. If we get shot, we'll probably get hit. No, we crouch. Um, is this Jens? No. Jens is here. Maybe that's what we should have done. Damn it. In that case, let's reveal the enemy again. And we ask Jens if there's any angle that you could do an aim shot from. 95% chance to hit. Jens, we believe in you. Oh, it's a hit. Not a kill, but it's a hit. This won't work, so we need to hide. We need to hide here. We also want to check the other side. I don't want any surprises. And finally, we move somewhere forward. I see so so. I guess we can stay next to the car for safety. We let this alien turn past. Ooh, our first Psy attack of the game. I'm guessing that was a Psy attack. And uh, bravery has been unaffected, which uh, is cool. The question though is, ha <laughs> ha hello alien, it would be a shame if somebody found you and shot at you and killed you. <laughs> Enemy down, we are now ready to continue. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. The question is, who will scout? answer is the car. So the car moves, tries to attract any fire, but there doesn't seem to be any. We already observed the ship, two enemies are already down, so we don't expect a ton more of resistance outside, but we still play carefully. Both our, both our assaults are engaging from the, same, from the same side, so maybe we'll have to take it a little bit slower just to be sure that every corner has been covered. And I don't want to get shot in the back. Uh, Jens, I'll ask you to take cover here, because we may end up taking shots in this direction. And uh, the units over here will just examine the insides of these places. Walk around. Ah, so that's blocked. Blocked areas make me happy because you can you can uh, pick them off as clear. Very useful. And Gika, you can continue moving all the way to here. I don't know if the map continues correctly this way, but it certainly looks like it. I just realized we could be getting shot from here, so that's uncool of me. Could be a mistake. I guess my first instinct was correct. We have killed most, if not all, of the units from the outside. Okay, so we'll send one unit though to make sure that the corner is empty. Good. And then finally.
more forward movement. Car also moves. Um, it seems like this type of hedge most of the time provides high co uh, no visibility, so high cover. However, the fact that we could see through it means we can probably get shot. Ah, okay, this patch is, uh, has no bush. Okay, so I guess that's half cover then. It's green and that's red. Okay, that makes sense. Good. We keep learning. And then <clears throat> units 5 and 6 can absolutely move around this place, continue to explore in this direction. Okay. Okay. Alien turn. Another Psy attack. Hopefully leads to nothing. Civilian runs away effectively. Not into the enemy as they used to do. Aha! We find an enemy, but we cannot really shoot at it right now. So, what we'll do. Oh, uh, really? You can't love a grenade over high cover? That's a little bit lame. Okay, since we cannot do that, uh, we will bully this unit into feeling afraid. So we'll present the tank. Oh, that gets shot. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll rethink what I'm doing. Okay, we're still in full, complete cover, line of sight cover. We can start moving towards the enemy. I really don't like this sprite. It's, it's very hard to understand. Yeah, hard to understand makes sense. We continue exploring with the other units, just in case there is a surprise over here. Even though I don't expect it. But a thorough commander survives for longer. It's also a night mission, so I, I don't think I should be doing things like this. But who knows. Um, you could take a shot, Jens, but the question is, do we want to take a shot? I think the answer is no. I think you're safe over here, at least safe-ish. Tank takes fire, one time, two times, three times, but only one time damage. More units reveal, them, reveal themselves <clears throat> and think about what they do. Oh, okay, see ya, Jens. Civilians moving over here. Uh, however, ooh, a lot of enemies have been left in the open. So we begin moving the tank and shooting at this unit, who is now dead. And then we can set Jens behind this very nice uh, high cover. And uh, let's go for an aim shot. Yes. The aim shot misses. That's such a shame. But we can cover you with the presence of the tank. In the meantime, we ask Giga to engage from the side. And uh, we cannot take a shot anyway. Because the, the ship is in the way. But we can for sure set him like this. So that uh, if they want to move, we can reaction fire in their direction. We hide someone else to the side of the ship. We ask number three to just double check that there's no one here. Good job, number three. Number five takes to the side. Checks the shot and gets nothing response. Again, nothing. Even more nothing. Takes the corner and now he would hit the tank, so that's not useful. And with everyone else, oh, sorry. With uh, this other unit, we check this corner. Good. Now we're satisfied that we have cornered the enemy into their own ship. So let's pass the turn and see what happens. The car gets shot. The car gets shot for a lot. And the car gets destroyed. I was kind of expecting this to happen. Another Psy attack. This I was not expecting to happen. 
But we have now discovered the responsible of the Psy attacks. So that's good. Uh, that one I didn't count on. Are, are we doomed? Can we really go in from behind? I don't think so. I think the game is lying to us. I think what's happening right now is that we simply cannot go into the ship. Unless... Unless we can destroy everything. Actually, maybe that sounds like a good idea. So we start throwing grenades. That's a good grenade. And we have more. Oh, we cannot throw a second one. Okay. But you know who can? The answer is Kika. Apparently we have to move to the side in order to just even throw it. Ah, oh, we plopped two grenades in front of that guy who will absolutely not be happy. Jens, we ask you to hide again. Everyone else, let's get closer to the enemy. <laughs> that was super good. Oh, why did I click? I didn't mean to click. My bad. But I bet I, bet I scared the enemy. Yeah. More than myself. We continue checking the rest, even though it's kind of irrelevant. Those two grenades hopefully deal very decent damage to the enemy. We tell number three to hide around the corner. That's better. And we pass the turn again. One grenade explodes, two grenades explodes, the enemy is pulverized, but, but the tank still remains right there and this makes me super scared for the future is there anything i can do i mean i can shoot at it but i don't think it will be destroyed in that case we'll continue chucking grenades at it somehow like this i would like to get the door included in case we can destroy the door because that is uh, also partially useful We get music from the outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, completely random. Uh, can we even escape this situation? Well, we can throw this grenade over here and hide again because we have a plan. So no music from the outside for you. It's also already over. Uh, Sangnif, do you know if grenades will be able to take care of this wreckage? Because otherwise our mission... Never mind. What? what? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Yen. <laughs> okay, Jens, uh, your throwing arm... <laughs> oh, Jens is gone, right? <laughs> this is so good. Ah... Jens, you're just you're just amazing. You, you provide content forever. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a brave soldier who wants to join the fight by opening the door. There will be horrors inside, and uh, we can shoot at this. We could shoot here, but obviously, after we move away, oh god, we cannot move away like this. Wow, is this unit completely dead? Well, okay, if he's completely dead, we might as well move forward. And then take shots. One. Two. Ooh, that was close. And then... Uh, let's get closer with Giga. Oh, we actually sent a second unit in. Right in front of the enemy. Take a shot. Oh, first we kneel. Then we take a shot. We miss again. We get shot back. They miss. Good. And now that the path is kind of clear. Uh, 18. That is not enough for one of your shots. But 37 should be more than enough. 
Ah, I see, that's a problem. Okay, in that case, let's hide around this machine. No way. Okay, I need to learn how reaction fire works. This is not XCOM where the first move triggers Overwatch. And uh, I keep learning from my mistakes. Gika is sadly dead. We'll have to find a good replacement for him. And uh, I don't know, maybe maybe this, this mission was a little bit too much for us. Unit shoots, unit shoots, gets a hit and suppression. Second unit dies and suppression on someone else. And our unit in the front has panicked, which is understandable because we left him alone inside the alien space spaceship. However, we open the door again and we find out that there are more enemies. That is that is brutal. Am I even gonna be able to complete this? So we move to the side and keep shooting at this. Jens, please save this this guy. Excellent, that's a nice headshot. And can we reload? Yes. And we move forward with this guy and uh, just far enough to hide. Next round we'll rush in, assuming this units kind of survive. Hi, right, that's a survival. Good. So we get another Psy attack, but it's uh, not effective. And we will ask the unit with the shotgun to go all the way in and say hello to this enemy. Can we kneel? Yes, we can. Boom! Enemy down. And now Thomas can continue his insane crusade in the ship. I really, I really hope he gets some bravery upgrades because he totally deserves them. Finally, I would like to drop this weapon and pick up this laser one because it will be more useful right now. Jens, I know you're a sniper, but right now you need to heal. I know you're not in danger, but it makes me feel better, just in case you get randomly shot. We pass the turn, the door opens, someone gets shot. Ah, that unit had survived so much. Things are not going as we expected. But maybe, maybe we can finish them correctly. Yes! We find the enemy. We have exactly the amount of TUs to shoot. And we get the kill. Mission is over. Only one kill. Everyone else is... Surviving. Hey, Gika, you're alive. Good job. Jens remains injured from his own grenade. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jens. And uh, Gika gets plus three bravery for killing so many aliens, 20 aliens, and a very well deserved uh, vacation. And uh, Thomas Kramer. Who was he? Ah, the, the random guy we sent in that survived. Cool. So this unit also gets to survive, uh, doesn't get a promotion but gets a ton of pluses, which is pretty good. And then Gika and Jens accumulate time units, which is a really really interesting and useful upgrade. So we recover things, we destroy others, I guess that makes sense. We sell a bunch of stuff and we recover more materials, good job. I mean, we keep getting our soldiers killed, so I should consider keeping always an eye out for replacement soldiers. We finished the MiG-32 Fox Trucks re research, I believe. Should be pretty good. So, what shall we go for? Combat armor? Combat armor or biology? I think with biology comes the the capturing thing, right? I think I should begin biology for sure. Also, our funds are starting to go up slowly. I still don't want to use full expansion on all the bases. 
but it's good that we have started uh, to have them. I know, I know it costs us more than what we actually should have spent. I think a second base should have been the limit, and then a third base a month later or two. Maybe we went too far or too fast. Uh, do we want to build anything else, like a medical center? Medical center would make absolute sense, considering how much uh, damage we're taking, how many wounds we're taking. We can now manufacture aircraft. It just costs half the money that we uh, double the half the money that we have, and more days than we would like to spend on it. So while I'm very interested in those, I will skip them for now because we are so low on money. I think maybe I should make one for Bucky one. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're gonna do that. Uh, we go to the Condor three, and uh, we ask it to move, relocate aircraft to Bucky three, and in the meantime. We tell our engineers, hey guys, let's totally get a futuristic MiG. We pass the time, a ship has refueled by moving, and we can now again intercept a tiny. It's a small, has no escort. Wait, that's a second, that's a third. Wow, that's impressive. So we can grab our squadron and tell them, hey, kill the first guy that is right here. Auto resolve, select new target. That UFO is running, but this UFO keeps coming to us. So we meet, auto resolve, excellent. And we are out of ammo, so let's return to base. We recover one alien LA because that thing got destroyed. And before we go to a mission, I would like to check. We literally have three people available. That's just a disaster. Okay, uh, but Sangnif, can you come back? No, 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 no. Okay, none of our wounded can assist to the mission. I think that is fair. The question is, can any of the new guys be useful? Because Sniper is there, Assault is there. We have three assaults. That's something has to be wrong. Um, this rifleman, you know what? We're gonna tell this rifleman Antonio Garcia that he is also an assault. Antonio Garcia, you are now an assault. And I would like to check if the other assault has the correct rifle. Yes. Rifle, rifle, sniper. Excellent. Additionally, we mount one car, and we got one destroyed, which is perfectly fine. I don't think I want to rebuild them right now. What's Tel Aviv? Oh, we can target cities for visit? That's cool. Still, it's not what we want. We send the Charlie, and uh, we go to the mission. As always, uh, cut the stream for 5 seconds, see you soon.